We're pointing the tips of the stones out because we're boosting above and below, pumping up that throat chakra so that you can use your vocal cords to communicate with us. And we're gonna access the ether. Elementals have sparked my interest because of our last investigation at the GRCC. Finding out that the pollution in the water mattered to them hit me really deeply. I have set forth, this is like what I'm trying, this is what I'm here to do at this point, to accomplish communication with other elementals. And I would love to just hear what they think about who we are and what we're doing in general. Tonight we're returning to Fort Knox. Haunt Me was last here in season two. The fort is actually kind of special in the way that Haunt Me has developed as a group of friends. Um, the fort is actually the very first place that Ty and I realized that we have just unbridled trust for each other and we're there for each other. We have each other's backs at all times. And so it's really fitting for Greg and Dana Newkirk to be here because we feel the same way about them. I jokingly referred to them as like a paranormal Swiss army knife. Like they know about elementals, cryptids, ghosts. And so it'll be really interesting to have their expertise come in when we are breaking bread with the elementals and when we're just asking questions in general. Um, so welcome to Fort Knox. This place it's is amazing. amazing. It's this really incredible. My name is Greg Newkirk and I am the founder and curator of the Traveling Museum of the Paranormal and the Occult. I am Dana Newkirk of the Traveling Museum of the Paranormal and the Occult. The past year's been crazy. The museum is firing on all cylinders. We've been all across the country picking up the most insane artifacts ever. And we've really kind of branched out to create some of our own tools for equipment and really just getting out there and investigating as much as possible. So this is the area that we spoke with Elizabeth a lot. And then across the way is the hallway where Ty and I had the experience with the dark entity. Okay. Last time at Fort Knox, I remember being scared. And I remember being fascinated by the fort. We have a lot of bases to go over tonight. We have a lot of like human spirits to discuss. We have the elementals to discuss. And we have years and years and years of history to go on. Obviously this, fort has been around forever. It's steeped in Maine culture. The granite is sourced from this state. That metaphysically is a really exciting experiment to deal with, but also just holding on to its history and it's connected so deeply to the town. I've actually investigated a lot of forts and forts are really different because there's a lot of layers going on in them. You definitely have a human element because people spent time here and they most of the time that they spent, they were really stressed out. But but then there's also sort of the sense that like there is a lot of elemental kind of energy that comes to them and, and maybe non-human entities that seem to kind of gravitate towards them because it is this melting pot of different layers of energy. So because this is our second time at Fort Knox, the pre-rate for this episode will be the old episode's rating, which is a six. Ever since going to the GRCC the first time, I have been engaged by a various amounts of elementals through meditation and my practice in magic. And that's only continued as we experienced some in Barclay and as we went back to the GRCC and we were contacted by them further. That really set me off. That really connected a lot of different life goals and like paranormal goals for me and you know, having the opportunity to come back here. I thought we would engage every element with its own altar, um, break some bread with them, eat with them, invite them here, show them that we can be a voice for them. Each altar tonight is very specifically designed to enhance that element and to enhance trust. We're going to show them that we're here to sit down and have a conversation and be casual and not ask them to perform for us. So I thought the fort itself is already a battery. Mm -hmm. So what good place to really like make little tiny concentrated batteries for each element and really engage with them and speak with them and see what they have to say. That's awesome. I love it. Cool. I feel like it's always 
one of those really big gestures that tries that like draws them in. Yeah. So I'm really excited for tonight because it sounds cool. like it's going to be like a huge gesture that they're not going to be able to ignore. Yeah. Which is going to be fun. Yes. In my opinion, an elemental is a very old spirit, a non-human spirit. Sometimes people might confuse them with demons just because they have kind of a bit of a trickster energy to them. It takes a lot to get them to respond to us. And I think if they see that we're making a big effort to communicate with them, that's the one thing that'll help draw them in. So it'll be interesting to see who wants to engage with us tonight. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Yay, me too. <laughs> well, a communication altar works sort of like a telephone. We're making a call. We're putting out a message. We're trying to get something's attention. And we're saying, come and communicate with us specifically. Come and find us and communicate with us. Hey guys. Hey. hey. <laughs> We're back at the fort. Nice to see you again. <laughs> yeah, well, welcome to the inside of Fort Knox. So tonight we're gonna be communicating with the spirits that are in the fort all the time, but we're also going to build an altar for each one of the elements. So earth, air, fire, water, and spirit, and really hoping to go further than the information we received at the GRCC. Cool. That's yeah. actually really cool. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah. I don't have a grasp of magic, even close to an iota of what she can do and what she can handle. And she's been working on this for a very, very long time. I'm not sure what to expect, but I am sure to have her back in any step of the way that she might need me to. I can probably guarantee this hasn't been done here before. <laughs> True. Turning the entire fort into a battery. And it expands like everything that we've done to this like crazy high level. Yeah. I knew nothing about elementals before um, joining Haunt Me, uh, other than what you read in books as fairy tales. The idea that there are other beings in other dimensions is enlightening and terrifying and so enthralling. So elementals of the spirit world. <laughs> um, we are here for you tonight. We are opening up space for you to communicate with us any intentions that you would like to see any human go forward with that facilitate proper growth and love and trust for you guys. Come on up here, guys. It's been really cool to watch Katie grow, not just from the time that we've known her, but since we've watched the beginning of Haunt Me. When I first met Katie, her skill set was like a trunk this big, and now it's this massive, huge trunk with all of these different elements that she can kind of reach in and pick and choose from and bring with her as a paranormal investigator. And it's really been amazing to get to see that, uh, to get to see her grow. We've watched people in the paranormal community who have watched Haunt Me start to implement magic into their paranormal investigations. And it's been, it's been amazing to see how not just her stuff has changed, but how she's changing the way that other people investigate. So the same for the water elementals as for the spirit elementals, we call you all in. Can I stop you before yeah, you do that? Yeah. So here's what, what we, here's what we have okay. that might help. Yes, I'm ready. So we've been holding on to this for a few years. Whoa. This is water from the uh, Brasselin forest in, in France. What? Where the Druids used to do their rituals. We brought some water with us from a really, really, really beautiful mystical forest in France. There's a lot of elemental energy there and we thought that we would bring it with us just to kind of add to the altar to kind of amplify everything. Fire elements, tonight we break bread with you as well. We offer up communication. For the fire altar, I have my cauldron. We're gonna light a charcoal briquette and we'll eat strawberries. For the air element, we will have the wind chime, really like highlighting the air and the wind that's happening here tonight. I have mined um, a bunch of quartz from Pownal and there's plums to eat. And then for earth, we have lots and lots of herbs and we'll all be around the circle and we will eat honeydew melon. We break bread with the earth spirits tonight. We have something you can add to that too. Awesome. We also have a piece of Brown Mountain, which is one of the most mystical places that we've ever been. Lights come up out of the mountain at night and what? people used to believe that they were either earth spirits. The Native oh, Americans believed they were earth spirits. That's yeah. Awesome. yeah. Uh, there's a lot of extraterrestrial activity yeah, that's there. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Carol's like, I'm I like, knew I've that. heard yeah. of it. I've heard of it. <laughs> I always hope for activity, but really I kind of want to just see if it's something elemental 
and if it is in the space around this fort, that we can pick it up. Okay. Cool. Let's go back to mission control. Let's go back to out. mission control yeah. and figure out how we're gonna s divide ourselves. Okay. Love yeah. It. So with blowing magic up as big as uh, Katie plans to today, it's gonna be really important for us to stay grounded as well. One of my roles tonight that I really want to be able to do is try to keep a level head and not get too excited with what the possibilities may be, so that we can really stay centered and focused on our mission at hand. Can we even see it from here though? Yeah. After I set the altar, I felt really good. I felt really calm and peaceful and really excited to see what it would conjure up. Some of the ways that we can um, understand that you're here would be to be over by the green light and make it change. Um, that's a great way, especially if you don't want to get close to us. You could make a sound on one of these old machines. I kind of like already feel like people are curious mm -hmm. or like watching or I, I say people, I don't know. Right, no, it's, I know what you, you mean. You know, like, like. Well, I think that we should, that when we start talking, we should start with the names that we had last time we were here. Okay. Four years ago, because it gives us a starting point, because maybe those were accurate, but who knows? So, right. do you remember this person is usually seen in what looks like a cape, but they took care of the grounds? Do you remember that person's name? I, I don't. In a cape? Was that Leopold? Leopold, that's it what was? it was. Yeah, okay. I, I don't remember if they said that it looks like he's wearing something, like a long coat or a cape or something, but that it was just the person that used to take care of the grounds. Hello? Do you hear, is that our footsteps echoing? Fireworks? That was a big stone. What? A stone, like... Like a door closing or something. I wish I knew where they were. They're in. Like, they're in, in on the other side of the fort. Okay. But that came up from around this corner. Oh, yeah. That just made my skin prickle. Okay. Let's do um, like 30 mm -hmm. seconds, 60 seconds of just silence and see yeah. if there's anything. Love that idea. All right. There's a little silver box in my hand. We're gonna put it down. I'll put it down a little ways from us, but if you can come close to the red light, you'll see blinking. If you talk into that, think really hard about what you're saying, that red light will stop blinking. And that means we'll be able to hear you. You know, I always like to sort of like meditate and listen to the different people trying to talk to me um, beyond what we get on a DR60. And then I saw this like, Granted, it was like in my mind's eye, and you know, I like my, you know, your mind will play tricks on you and everything like that. So I didn't take it seriously at the time, but I saw this like giant hand come down from the sky and like plant its hand right in the center of where we were. And it really seemed like, you know, nothing. And I just, I said it to Greg and Dana because there's just so many times where I'll have a personal experience and I don't say it out loud and then it happens. And I'm like, well, damn, I can't say it now because it doesn't seem real. It seems like I made it up. So, you know, I've learned to just like say everything that I'm thinking. Someone was like, you can talk to me, my child. <laughs> and I was like, who am I the child of? And I, it pronounced a word that began with a D that I've never heard before in my life that I can't even repeat. So I was like, oh, I don't know what's up there. And I can't, I don't see anything up there, but that's where it was like coming from. So do you think it was like a floor above or <laughs> way know. higher than that? I don't know. <laughs> Did it feel human? I don't know. Oh. I don't know. Okay. I don't know how it felt. I've never felt anything like that before or have had anything call me its child. 
I mean, you probably never built an altar that big either. That's very true. I feel like this might not be a person. Really? Uh, it's like somewhere in the middle. Can I say humanoid? I'm watching too much Star Trek. You can say whatever you want. I don't understand it though. There's a, right where my foot is, is a deep hole. Like it's getting yeah, Watch out, Mike. Funky. If you are a person, could I request your name and rank, please? Um, we got closer because we felt like we were too far away to actually hear you. Um, that is the only reason we moved. We just want you to be louder on here. So if you want to come where you were before and let us know where you're from. How many of you are with us tonight? What was that sound? Which altar is yours? I have one more question. What is your name? Okay, let's see what's on here. How many of you are with us tonight? What was that sound? Which altar is yours? Ooh, that's Holy a lot shit. There. What are they? What is this? You didn't make an altar for me? That's oh. what it sounds like. Which altar is yours? I have one more question. You didn't make an altar for you me? You didn't make an altar for me. What? I have chills. What are you? So, uh, so I'm going to pull out one stick. And if there was one emotion, one events, one factor that would define how you feel right now, this would be it. So this is Birch. I sat down and pulled out my Ogham sticks in an effort to get a better grasp of the whole situation. And the first one I pulled was Birch. It's the very beginning of the alphabet. Birth, new journeys, new beginnings. Uh, the next one I brought out was Blackthorn, which was reversed and also can represent death. Um, this is uh, Blackthorn. Reversed can of often mean death. Oh. So we have this weird opposition between it's almost like whoever this is didn't get to experience life. Okay, here we go. That was really great. We could hear you really well. We just couldn't really understand you. You said there's something you wanted on your altar. We, we don't know what that would be. We can't tell. What, what do you want on your altar?
What do you want us to know about you before we go any further? Is there anything that we can do for you that you need done? Is there anything that you can do for us? Where are you right now? Okay. When you said the word altar the first time, there were like footsteps. Like, like I felt the floor the moving. Vibration mm -hmm. of the floor. Mm -hmm. That was the only time, but. It also, did it just get really cold in here? Like within the past like two minutes? Two set, like, yeah. It's cold now. It's cold. some old primal god that like bring me what, what have I done you guys? <laughs> the footsteps and the hand and all of the up did kind of make me be like whoa <laughs> this is bigger than I thought it was going to be. We should listen to this. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's, tell them I'm coming, is what I hear. Mm -hmm. I know, the I'm coming is so clear that Nick heard it, you should have seen his face. I can't tell, he's like, tell if it's like, he's if scooted. it's tell them, it almost sounds like hail, I'm coming. <gasps> it does sound like hail. Like hail. That scares me, so I'm gonna go with I'm coming. I think to really keep in mind, if we are dealing with anything that's dark, fear is what it wants. Oh, right. We should not and cannot be scared of anything You created that a very positive, for me, someone who's not magically inclined, yeah, I felt very comfortable with what you were doing yeah. upstairs. Oh, yeah. It's very positive. Okay, so what's our plan? Um, where do we need to go? Yeah, where we need to go up. Uh, yeah, I think it's constantly like we have to go up. I think it wants it the wants us up. girls up there in particular. I think it also wants. Yeah, I think the lady. We should all go up. I actually had an idea for the guys. One of the things that you can do when you're trying to reach out to a spirit is always meet them on their level. Um, and to do that, the men of the group would go on patrol of the outer ring to see if that was reminiscent of something that happened in the past. Greg, me and Billy are performing rounds of Fort Knox. Any enlisted men out there that would like to come with us are more than welcome to. 
Soldiers of Fort Knox, Prospect Maine. It was a good effort and it was what we should have been doing to try to reach out to those human spirits, but there was so much other stuff going on tonight that it definitely fell by the wayside pretty quickly after. The only thing that makes me nervous is like when Katie's like, oh, well, you know, moth to a flame. And we lit a big flame up just top. We should be ready for what's coming no matter what it is. Yeah. I mean, I really got the impression as we were sitting there, it was like, oh, I mean, yeah, there are a bunch of small altars, but it really, it makes one big giant altar. Yeah, it turns this whole place, yeah, this yeah. whole place into a giant altar. Mm -hmm. So it would only make sense that something very giant would go, oh, well, that's just my size. You ready? Yeah, we'll do the si you wanna do the silence? But let's try it. Yeah. Okay. Holy shit. Kick I was even holding it like this, so there's like no breeze yeah. or anything. <laughs> Kicking it, yeah. Come on in, ladies. Aww. Kicked it right off. Yeah, We've I got didn't know it. Just sat over here, by the way. Yeah. I'm gonna sit in the good ear. That. My good ear is gonna loom yeah, in the back. Get that, good ear. Yep. Get that good ear over here. <laughs> Ready? Holy shit. I feel like oh. it says, hey. Okay. <laughs> My it's brain's going, hey day. ladies, what you doing here? <laughs> it's not what it says. <laughs> I'm just dumb. Do you hear I'm gonna? Yes! Yeah, I'm gonna. Okay, yeah. Um, I thought I heard something really bad at the end, and I don't know if I heard it. What are you hearing? Yeah, what are you hearing? Say it. I thought I heard someone say, kill myself. Oh. It does sound like that, Carol. At the very what? end. What? It does. It sounds like kill my... I can hear it in, in the there. the very, very end. I could totally be wrong. I mean... Oh my God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something, something, something. Kill myself. I almost want to say it was residual. It just didn't seem, we just didn't get the same vibe as we got with everything else. The one concern that I have, and I don't want it to build up any like negative feelings inside anyone, because again, mm -hmm. the last thing we want to create is fear within ourselves. Right. But. It is concerning that it's not giving us its name. Yeah. I just have to say that. Um, so if there are ways that you all protect yourselves, I like to brew a golden egg inside of my body and let it expand around my body. Mm -hmm. I would actually take a moment and do that. That's a good idea. Moment. Protect yourself. And for me, basically that just meant focusing on myself, knowing that I am who I am and I am in control of this and that no one can take that from me and even if I am scared I'm gonna be okay what are you is there an element here on the top of this fort that you identify with Have you ever been to the West End Cemetery in Portland, Maine? What form do you take? Why are you here with us right now? Why? 
Why are women important to you? Where are you? Is it talking about hair again? There's so many answers. There's, it's answering every question. Mm-hmm. What are you? Is there an element Sit. here on the top of this fort? What are you? Is there an element here on the top Ooh. of this fort that you identify with? Have you ever been to the West End Cemetery in Portland, Maine? What form do you take? I feel like something else answers that question. Why are you here with us right now? Why are women important to you? Where are you? What was the answer to that question? Did he say on top of the fort? What That's what. <laughs> Wait, you gotta start it again. Holy yeah. yeah. shit! I'm, I heard fort. I'm like losing it. I, what are you? Hold on. What are you? Is there an element here on the what top is it of the fort that you identify? You hearing what I'm hearing? What are you hearing? My first thought was it, it said Gorgon. Mm-hmm. My second thought was that it fucking said demon. I think it's I heard, <laughs> But that's so cliche. It's so cliche. Yeah. Listen. Ugh. What are you? Shut up. No. The answer to the element is a different answer in my brain every time. Every time. Every time. Every time. Why are you here with us right now? Why are women important to you? Where are you? <laughs> on top of the on floor. On top of the floor! I definitely heard that on top of the floor. First of all, I need to know if it lives on top of the fort or if it came because of the altars. Yeah. Traditionally, demons aren't going to call themselves demons because the idea is that they want to trick you. They want to deceive you. And kind of coming right out of the gate and being like, I'm a demon isn't necessarily th- something that a demon would do. Um, it's n- it's not a comforting feeling when something wants to kind of call itself that. I didn't think it was a demon, but we were just kind of getting little blips here and there of something that made me a little uncomfortable, like something that maybe wanted something more from us than we were willing to give. So I just wanted everyone to have a little extra protection. What we all have to realize is if it's a demon, it's not gonna tell us it's a demon, Mm. right? Mm -hmm. So it's something that's been called a demon by something else, if that's what it's saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It feels like, it feels trickstery, it feels kind of like an elemental. <laughs> well, yeah. Every time I imagine people summoning old spirits, ancient spirits, gods, what have you, I always in elementals, I always envision what that must be like. And the best way I can think about it is walking out of your front door in the morning and the ants have put a giant symbol on the ground for you. Yeah. And you're going to stop and you're going to go, <laughs> you know what I mean? You're going to go, true. oh. Oh. Well, that's strange. They don't normally do that. They don't. They don't, they don't yeah. yeah, they're paying attention to me. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. you're either gonna go. You're either gonna do two things. You're either gonna freak out and smash them, mm-hmm. or you're gonna freak. Or you're gonna go. Oh, well, what? What do you want? Mm-hmm. What do you want? Yeah. As ants, we built the sign, got the attention, and now what's the purpose? What's the point? Yeah, we have to give the message. The message has. I. Right. I would feel unfulfilled if we did not send the message, whatever it might be, to just Morse code it, because talking's not working. Yeah. No. If we can figure out, and then this falls onto you I'm guys. I'm not building another altar. No, I don't think that we should. Yeah. I also don't want to like invite anything bad into the fort, Right. Mm-hmm. but also we have a goal, so how do we meet in the middle and communicate with whatever we're talking to? Keep, we, but keep us safe. We have to close that door. Yeah. I mean, metaphorically, like we have to like... Yeah, what we, well, well, we have to send the message through that door before we close right. it. Right. And we have to figure out, yeah, exactly. Do you like, think that's safe? Okay. 
So if you walked out your door and you saw that yeah. sign from the ants, mm -hmm. and you go, okay, I'm paying attention, what would they have to do to make you go, we need help? A new sign. Signs equal altar. I think it's an action. We were trying so hard to understand what it was that we were talking to. We weren't putting too much focus on why we're talking to them. Something just popped in my head. Unite all the elements to show that we are all united as well. Take everything from the fort that is spread out across the, the top and push it together to show that we are here united and we can all come together. Matt really presented the full idea of balance. So instead of it all just being spread out, just having it all together in one space made a lot of sense. Since we needed answers badly to come up with an actual useful plan, it made sense to use the Estes method to have two people in a duality sense so we could see if there was any overlap in what they were saying. All right, here we go. Question is, who starts this? Uh, I think we'll find out real quick. I'm just going to point out before we start asking questions that we've created a big altar and put two women on it. Mm. I don't want them to be alone. Operator on the altar. I'm going to sit. Speak. If you take that side. Enter. I'll take that side. Yeah. This is. Yeah. This is politely it's not. Small way. Yeah, Awey, something like it's that. It's coming. It's coming. Okay. This is politely not an altar for you specifically, <sighs> whereas Dana. you what want is Dana? two women. Greg and myself are also here. Women. Greg. Mm-hmm. I'm here. We're here to show you the unity of our team and our family through Katie's magic. Dreaming and attempts to reach out to the spirits on the other side who have control over nature because she is passionate about bringing unity between our world and yours so that we can clean up from both of these places. How do you feel about what we're trying to do? It's far. Keep going. Bring the lamb. Keep going. I'm going. What is that? Anna. So it's named off all the women. Yeah. Where are you right now? Oren. No. Down. The intelligence that we're communicating with. Ultimately. Where is it coming from? It's new. We are here. I can't hear it. I like this. So you can understand us. How many? What are you doing here? Stop. What is your goal? Katie doesn't know it. One. Down. It's kind of interesting. They feel in I can't opposition dive right of each in. other. Yeah. It, especially just now. Mm hmm But like even like I feel like Billy. Dana was saying up. Billy. And Katie's Billy. saying down and like there's this weird like duality happening. Mm hmm Who's who's here? and who's there. You can answer separately. They gave us food. <laughs> Did he? They gave us food. The us is what's concerning. I know it. How many of you are there? Billy. Billy. Can, From the up. See? Yeah. I don't think they... We saw understand what the ants are doing. I want it. Give it to me. Nope. Give it to me. After all. How do we make it more clear? Help. Up. Mm. Center. 
Where's the flashlight? Give me a flashlight. Did you feel it? Up. There you go. Do you see what we're doing it's now? It's a sign. Oh, that's a conversation. When she said that. that. Up. 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 Up where? Well, what is go it? Go up. Oh, shit. What? Holy Whoa. shit. Holy, Holy crap. Shit. Holy shit. What Greg, was that? I, I got Did you f***ing see? I'm chilled all over the place, you f***ing What was that? That Holy light? Shit. Is that what we're talking about? I heard Greg just say my name, Dana. Did you not? Did you see that shit? That was a shooting star, right? No, it no, was it didn't not. Have it went tail. like this. It's hardcore. Yo, that Helping me hardcore. Yo, having, like, it's telling us to look guys. up. This is nuts. That was orange. Did we just, Katie, you feeling it? How did we just transition from old gods to aliens? Told me. I don't know if that's what it is. It's a sign. Oh, People okay. used to look to the sky Heather. to see signs from gods all the time. The it's all they had to look at. The hell is an orange thing? I don't know, but that was like nothing I've ever Yo, that seen. that didn't like... That, lasted that wasn't like a whole... UFO. That, that wasn't no, a no, UFO I know, thing. I know, I know. It looked like fire. It that looked was... like a flame. Katie, the whole sky. good job. I had time to find good job. back there. Good job. It looked like a fireball, but without a tail. And it was bright orange, and it just went zipping across the horizon. It was straight, and it was fast, and it was the whole sky. It didn't have a tail. It didn't burn out. It was orange. It was above the clouds. They keep saying, up, up, up. Maybe they're just telling us to look up. And that's when we did and saw that. So We all saw that, right? Speaking we did. It. Is I'm this a mutual it. recognition of each other's existence? I don't existence? know the language. Did, is, is that, that enough? Maybe that's, speaking maybe that's the Watch. point. Watch. Again, Watch. here, okay. again, here, and again. listen, Katie, we're listening. And listen. Um, Hoyt, weird things are happening Push. on my thing right now. Yeah, speak. I can hear a beeping. It's just going do, do, do. It's like Morris code, like do, do, oh do, 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 do. What the f are we doing? All radio stations just disappeared. I've got it. Speak. Do, 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 it's do, 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 Wildly. All right. Does someone know? Yep. I don't know Morse code. You're going to have to All see. All of my radio stations later, completely yeah. disappeared. It's like she wants to look at it. Don't let Dana look In. at it. Keep doing the Morse code, Dana. Friend. Okay, listen, guys, quiet. In the out. In the out. Someone with the camera. Someone with the camera needs he to get her hand. keeps his keys. Yeah, yeah. It's so hard. You're doing great. Something really f***ing strange is happening Anything. right now. Do we need to pull her out? I, no, 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 no. Anything you did. She feels okay. I've it never, ever, 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 in all of the times that I've done this, heard it ever do this. What's Kinda it doing? Like your What's it doing? High? What's it doing? Like Me? My recorder? Yeah. You're the one. It's it's making music. Who's the one? It's making music with the radio You're sound. The, one. the radio had actually changed to making almost Morse code. Ty tried to communicate using Morse code, a Morse code translator, and something that would flash lights. I think you guys need to hear this. Okay. Uh -huh. How are they? How are they slipping? Are we all getting on this altar right now? I'm, this is a whole new this voice. This sounds like them. Listen. Hi. Oh my god, the high was really... Like Listen, loud and scary. That's insane. Something's yeah, really coming. That? Hold on. Something's I coming. Think. Do what, it. What is it? What's coming? Hi. I feel it. Hi. I heard that. Did you hear that? <laughs> I feel Spend. like Katie is like one of those operator one? panels. Let's listen to every station yeah. right now. But if you knew it, oh, it would be good. You guys all look up. I'll, let me know. It really would be. I'm going to watch the game. Okay, we're looking up. Oh, it's right there. What? What? I didn't see it before, but I saw it. Did, did you see it? It was over there on the right, yeah? Right there. What is that? Keep looking. Two more. Jesus. We're okay. looking. We're looking. Three. You guys can look up. I'm going to... I'm not taking my eyes off of these people. We need these two people back soon so we can discuss. Alchemy. Yeah, we can discuss. It's the difference between you and me. Alchemy is Ten. the difference between you and me. That's nice. 
That's nice, and you got my attention. Hold up, but don't drop it. What we're doing tonight Evil. is a type of alchemy. What? I'm coming. That's it. Where are you coming from? Great question. Up. Jesus. Oh, man. She's doing it. What should we do now? If we see each other, what now? I just tossed it right in. Balance. <laughs> Up and down, light and dark. Balance Alchemy. would be good. I think, and that's what Katie wanted to achieve, right? Balance. Duality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We want the same thing. Oh my thing. god, the Ogham sticks were the opposites. <laughs> they were death and birth. Death and birth. How do we maintain balance? Good balance. Up. Yeah. And down. Oh. It just kicked me out. There's all oh, those people. Must have died. Your battery you. must have died. That shit. I don't even really know where to begin. I don't know either. We should probably, do you want to pull Katie but we should out? Say, Come we on. Should close it first. Me. We're going to say goodbye now. Thank you. We understand balance. Just we say hope, it. We hope you do too and you appreciate it. This Estes method was the hardest one I've ever done. It was really difficult to decipher all of the voices because there were so many. And some were having a conversation together and some were not speaking our language. It sort of like kicked me out and it would only give me like the occasional word and it was usually the same repeating word up, which I, I remember saying a billion times. And there were moments where I was hearing it and I just kind of I was so sick of saying it out loud that I just kind of stopped saying it. Um. Well, tell you what, I feel like an ant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've, like I've never felt so small. I'm really confused and I have no context. The only context that I had that I can wrap it up with the camera at the end was that they were using you to exemplify the need for balance. I am confused. I am not sure what we did here. I don't know if we did it or if it was here. I think we took a step in a direction that we haven't before, and that has always been our goal here with Haunt Me, is to explore more, understand more. I definitely think we did that tonight. We're in a weird position now, because it's obvious that we all worked really hard to put a, a signal out, and we were trying to communicate. I think we got a response. Not even a response. I don't think we got a response so much as we got an acknowledgement. Where that goes, I don't know. Maybe we can't get anything more than that. Maybe it really is just a reminder that, yes, we're here. Yes, we see this stuff. Yes, you're small. <laughs> Maybe that's the point of the whole thing. So our investigation at Fort Knox was a bit bigger than I had planned. It's possible that Fort Knox is a window area. It's possible that running alongside this river really amplifies the energy here. And maybe my spell reached out to something really big that already had great potential of happening here. Um, I think the only way to really know that would be to continue the spell and try it different places. And so because of this, we can't really rate Fort Knox tonight. We're gonna just keep it at a six. We really feel um, like that's conclusive to this um, investigation. We chatted with the resident paranormal investigation team that is always at this fort, and they had mentioned to us that um, a man did actually jump off the bridge a few days prior to us being here. It seems like that voice that we heard through the DR-60 talking about committing suicide off of the bridge is connected to an actual event that happened here at the fort. So some of our evidence tonight really conjured up some 
feelings within us and we want everyone to know that if you are struggling and if you are having a problem there are suicide prevention lines for you to call um, please don't feel like you have no one to reach out to people do really care about you and we really want you to know that